Hey guys, um, I'm just on my way to the grocery store and I thought, ah, I'll turn on the camera and give my YouTube channel a little update. And so um, I hope you don't mind that this is a car vlog, but um, I'll also get to test out my new stand. I have like this little stand thing for my phone and I'll get to see how it goes. I hope it's not wobbly um, because when I watch car vlogs and they're wobbly, I get motion sickness. And so um, I don't want that to happen to you guys. If you're prone to motion sicknesses and my camera's all wobbly, oh, I just would hate to do that to any of you. So <laughs> hopefully it's not wobbly. We'll see. This is a test run. But I wanted to give you guys a little update because um, I hadn't been vlogging as much as I had hoped because I was going through a, a, a loss, a death of, of someone who was close to me. And... Um, Ew, now that I'm looking at it, the camera's totally slanted. Hopefully that doesn't detract from this overall experience. Anyway, <laughs> um, I was experiencing a, a loss, a death of a loved one, and I was just giving myself time to process everything. Um, for me, I, I'm a very sensitive person. And for me, when I'm going through something that's a little tough, I, I like to journal. I like to write it out. That really, really helps me. I don't know if any of you guys are like that, but um, journaling really helps me like process my emotions. And that's what I was doing. Um, and it really, I, I'm glad I did it. And um, I also have it to look back on because I always want to remember the person um, and I, I, I want to remember her right through her death. and, and burial and everything and so I will have that those journal entries uh, to help me remember this time in my life anyway um, the person that passed away was my former boss but she was also a friend and a mentor to me as well a very I mean I loved her and um, when I mentioned the boutique that I used to work at in my in my um, outfit of the days that was her boutique. Uh, I was a stylist under her at her boutique. And so I just have so many beautiful memories with that woman. She really gave me um, the start of, of what I now call like my, my job in fashion. Like I, I never thought that I would be able to work as a stylist and she gave me that opportunity. And so I have her to thank for that. And Anyway, I just, um, I just, I was going through some stuff when, when she passed away and, uh, I, I just want to give a huge shout out. Um, you know, it's the littlest things in life that can make a huge difference, uh, on the day of her death. And this sounds so little, but it meant so much to me. I found out that a, um, a YouTube channel who was doing a giveaway on my favorite coffee had picked me as a winner. Uh, to receive this free bag of coffee, Door County Coffee, which is my favorite coffee ever. And so Angela, if you happen to be watching this, um, thank you so much. It just came yesterday and it's delicious. Both me and my husband tried it and we love it. And it's all thanks to you and it just really brightened my day. I mean, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let me straighten you out. I am sorry, that is so annoying. Ugh, I wish I hadn't been crooked that whole time. But anyway, um, so yeah, I was going through that and now I hope to get back to regular vlogging. Um, you know, with the boys, I like documenting little things that we do because it's fun and because, um, you know, I like to look back at it and they like to look back at it. Like just recently, uh, they were talking about, um, when we went to ride the carousel and I was like oh yeah I have that in a vlog so I played it for them and they were like totally pumped up about it and so I want to continue doing that um so yeah I'm gonna run in and get my groceries and then I will vlog again on my way home so uh, I will see you in a bit all right so I've got uh, some of my grocery shopping checked off which is awesome um, but while I was shopping, I remembered another kind of huge piece of news that I have to tell you guys. 
Um, if you've been following me on my YouTube channel or on Instagram or wherever for several years, and some of you have been, like I don't have a ton of followers, but I do have a handful of you awesome, awesome people who have been following me for quite some time. You'll remember a few years ago we took like an enormous leap of faith and we moved 1,200 miles away from family and friends. I left my job um, to get to Houston, um, to move to Houston. And we thought, you know, Houston is a huge area compared to what we're used to and figured there would be more opportunity here for us, um, you know, just job-wise, socially, culturally, everything. And, you know, there is a ton to offer here, but uh, we found we are not big city people at all. We are small town people at heart. And so um, Mike got a job opportunity in the Midwest so we could move back and we jumped at it guys I'm so excited and so happy that we are going to be moving back we're not going to be living in the same city that we moved from but we are going to be in that general area and we're gonna be so much closer to family I'm so so glad I have missed um, being close to family. I, I mean, my sister's pregnant right now and I'm going to be the godmother of this baby and I want to be near her, you know? And I want my boys to be near their grandparents, their aunts, their uncles. I want, I want to be closer to family. And this is a step up for Mike in his career. So we're happy. I'm excited. Like obviously moving on, moving again across the country is like, ugh, it's daunting because, you know, you move all your stuff and if you have kids, you know how that is. It's like so, so much. But, um, but I'm just happy that we are going to be living closer to family. So I'll try my best to vlog the whole moving experience and I feel like I'm a professional mover at this point. <laughs> Having moved across the country now, it will have been twice within the past three years when this is all said and done. Um, so maybe I'll do a video about uh, tips and tricks for moving across the country. I don't know. Or moving in general. Um, but anyway, yeah, I wanted to share that piece of information with you guys because this hour is going to be crazy for us. We are going to be moving in June, mid-June. We are going to... Uh, going to pack all our stuff up and we are going to move so yeah it's it's an exciting crazy time you know you only live once and I figure you know we 